The following is a conversation between Matthias De Stefano, referred to as me, and his higher self, referred to as I am. The date is January 11th, 2021, and the subject is the emotional aspect of the crown chakra in the sign of Capricorn. I am. Taking into account that we are entering the week of the soul, and therefore of emotion, I will be direct and straightforward. What is your reason for being? What do you think you are right and others are not? What if you find out you don't have it? Me. Ooh, what a topic. Straight to the point, to the wound. I am. When it comes to Capricorn, we can't waste much time decorating emotions. It is what it is, and you have to take responsibility, responsibly, for the things you feel. So... This week we will work with key questions in relation to what moves us emotionally to work on it. So I put these questions at your disposal. Me. Should I answer them? I am. Well, not me, but yourself. The task of this whole week will involve trying to understand how we are located in the emotional bonds with respect to the energetic bonds of our life. Therefore, I recommend that you write the question and below develop a series of points, listing the reasons, the things in which you think you are right, and how you react when you discover that you are not. You must make these three forms conscious, so that your being becomes aware of these reaction mechanisms and structure of your constitution. Me. Let's start, as always, remembering what reason means. I am. Reason comes from the Latin reris, which means thought, and tio, which means action. Rationis would be the act of thinking, which evolved or deformed to reazione, and then reason in English. Reasoning is the verb that describes the action of thinking. Reasonable describes the attribute of something that is consistent with the way of thinking, logical and coherent. And therefore, being right is having the ability to think logically. Me. Although today, being right is no longer so logical. I am. And I'll explain why. Because reason comes simply from the idea of thinking, something that can calmly occur without the need for study or verification, and that can be born purely from your imagination. You, for example, have you ever checked what you explain? Me. Well, some things yes, but most no. They come from me, from within. I am. Of your mind. In other words, everything you say could easily be imaginary, an invention of your neural interaction, and that's it. Me. If you put it that way... Yes, of course. I always say that I really don't care if I check what I say. That is, there are people who tell me, how do we know if what you say is true? How can we verify it? And I usually say that I did not come to prove whether what I say is true or not, because it is not my mission to prove anything. My mission is to be, to share, and if it works and is useful, fine. And if it's not useful, so it's fine anyway. I am. Well, it's a detached point of view of what you deliver. That's fine. However, it's still just an idea. Is your idea of detachment from truth a product of your core essence or your ego trying to survive? Me. I think it's a constant struggle, right? Well, more than fighting, it's a pendulous question between the reason for my ego in the perception of things and the reason for my essence in the truth of them. The ego seeks to survive, and it will inevitably defend itself in some way. If it were not useful, the essence would never have created the ego. I am. You got me. Ha ha. Me. I'm learning. Ha ha. I am. The ego is a tool, but sometimes we let it run our lives, and that's usually when we have accidents. The ego is a kind of driver with a drop-down map, when the essence is the GPS. When the ego tries to see the way or say, calm down, I know where we are, 
Things always go wrong and you end up lost in the middle of a dangerous place. Me. It's happened to me several times. I am. The same happens with reason. The line that separates the thought of the ego and the thought of the essence is very thin, since both are maps, but with different ways of approaching them. You did not answer my question. Me. Well, many times I realize that I ignore some information on purpose due to the need to maintain my integrity. It's strange, because I know with all my being that I didn't come to prove anything to anyone, that I don't care, and that I came to share what I know, what I feel, what I experience, and that's it. I don't intend to go crazy in this life, wasting time in being believed. And that's when the ego sometimes takes control, in the concept, I don't care. When you hear more and more things in the world, you realize that people want to believe anything, and that no matter how much you focus all your energy on wanting to explain certain truths or clarify and justify what you know or say, their minds will not change. Sometimes I think that the best thing is to share without wanting to convince anyone of anything, and from there each one will take what is useful and make their own discernment. I am. I don't care can become a way of justifying whatever comes to mind. The ego, defending your integrity, can close off learning new concepts that nourish your own vision. Me. You always have to be open to learning something new. Thanks to talking with you, with me, every day, I can identify more and more when it is my ego that responds with I don't care. And when it is the essence saying, it is not in my way today. I am. You live in a world full of minds. And each one projects its own thought into the outside world. But they do it only to refer to the outside and know how to move in the environment. Which is summed up in trying to survive the environment. Therefore, the ego uses thought as a defense mechanism and it calls it reason. The religious believe they are right, the scientists believe they are right, the scholars believe they are right, the conspiracy theorists believe they are right, the ignorant believe they are right. Me. At this time, many of those thoughts become extremist and do not open up to see other options to the point where they cannot even believe what they are seeing with their own senses. For example, this week I received a video from someone in Spain who said that snow was plastic because bringing a flame to it with a lighter didn't melt, it burned. And sometimes we forget that today we have access to the largest network of information, to the largest library of collective knowledge in the world, through the internet. And many times before looking for data, we speak without knowing. And I include myself. I am. We have talked about the difference between two types of ignorance. He who does not know, does not know that he has the means to know. The ignorant is the one who denies knowing when he knows that he has the possibility of doing so. Me. It took me less than a minute to look for a video where he explains how it is the combustion of the flame that le leaves carbon marks, the burns, on the snow, when it is the heat in the blue part of the flame, or the external one that surrounds the snow, the yellow part, which melts the snow, turning it into water. But it is true that in our time we lost the habit of asking questions, we believe that knowledge is hidden from us, and sometimes it is simply that we have not looked for it well or asked the right questions. I am. Therefore, reason has three ways of manifesting itself. Coming from thought, we have the subconscious, the unconscious, and the conscious reason. Me. How is the subconscious reason? I am. It is what we call illogical. That is, the thought that resonates, like an echo, that we recognize as true in ourselves, in our emotions, without the need to carry out a cognitive process. 
our being recognizes it. The unconscious is the reason that is obtained by culture or collective thought in which the group is not doubted for fear of being expelled from the clan and dying in exile. And the conscious reason is the one that occurs in the search and learning of different options. Me. But this can be applicable to many things. In other words, um, the subconscious reason can equate on the same level to my holistic explanations resonating with thousands of people and the positions that the earth is flat or hollow, which also resonates with thousands of people. I am. And what makes you think that you are right and that the others are not? Me. The data. That is, data from thousands of years ago from mathematicians, geologists, astronomers, architects, scientists, from different cultures and empirical data such as the rotation of stars, planets, the solstices and equinoxes, or simply getting on a flight from Sydney to Buenos Aires or South Africa, looking at Antarctica through the window, something that I have done myself and anyone can do. I am. If we enter into the philosophical aspects of reason, we could say that neither you nor they are right. Or all of them are, since each one sees the world with the reality of their own brain. That is to say, there are people who feel the same caress on an arm with the same softness as pleasure or as unbearable pain. Everything is due to brain perception. The external world can never be exact if you perceive it with the eyes of your brain perception. Me. But there are concrete data that is beyond the perception of things. The experiments contrasted by hundreds of individuals make up a collective truth. I am. According to that collective truth, everything you know is nothing more than well-managed schizophrenia. Me. Good point. I am. As you will see, nobody is right, but everyone is right. And a collective reason shapes an idea of the group. There are scientists who go to Mass on Sundays, even though they know that the empirical existence of the Christian God is impossible. But they have faith, and faith encompasses everything that cannot be understood from reason. It opens the doors to all possibilities. The problem that arises in both faith and reason is the same, clinging to the idea that it is the only answer. Both faith and reason have the same principle. Open up to infinite possibilities, close to nothing, and both make this ancient mistake of believing that there is only one possible answer. What do you feel now that you know you've never been right? Me. Two things happen to me. I feel nauseated, as if suddenly there was nowhere to hold on. I didn't know where to go. And on the other hand, I feel free, without the weight of having to look for reason and possess it. I am. Reason is built through learning. Reason can never be possessed. It cannot be had. It can only be passed on, shared, integrated and transcended. Whoever claims to be right, no matter how secure they are, will sin from attachment and ego. That is, they will show that they live from the need for survival of their self, linked to this specific time and space. Me. No one has reason, but we all build it. I am. In each question you ask, you build reason. And when you discover a new question... You call it faith. What is your reason for being? Me. Discover myself and what my mind is capable of manifesting. I am. In what do you think you are right and others are not? Me. The way I see the universe from holistic and harmonious integration and I think that those who see it from conspiracy and duality don't have it. I am. What would happen if one day you found out that you were wrong and that the universe is really a control matrix created by opposing forces of darkness living on a flat earth, which is an experiment? Me. It would be hard for me to accept it.
It would cause me anxiety. It would break the sense of everything I am, what I do, what I believe. Nothing would make sense. And probably, eventually, I would try to adjust to that new reality by seeing how I see it. That I know can be useful to transcend that system and create a different one. I am. Now you know how it feels when your words break the patterns of others to replace them with new ones. Then you recognize the only possible reason in the game of life. It is not about being right, but about adapting and transcending reasoning patterns to evolve, learn, expand, get to know each other. Me. I know I am not right. I am the reason. I am. That is the greatest liberation you will find in existence.